on this episode of System Integrators Weekly. Last week, you saw the interviews. This week, let's check out the websites. Three system integrators who are new to the show. All that and more on this episode of System Integrators Weekly. Let's go, nerds! This episode of System Integrators Weekly is sponsored by CDK Deals. CDK Deals is an online marketplace that offers game keys for several different platforms and genuine software licenses at drastically reduced prices. You can even use code BRAID25 to get an additional 30% off. Here's how it works. Here we have an OEM license for Windows 10 Pro. Of course, all Windows 10 Home and Pro keys can be later upgraded to Windows 11 at no charge. Keep in mind that you'll need a new key if you build a new system or make major hardware changes. OEM keys cannot be used to upgrade from Windows 10 Home to Pro, so make sure you know which version you have installed. Here in the cart, you can use code BRAID25 to get an additional 30% off. So an OEM copy of Windows 10 Pro will drop from $22.72 to just $15.90. After your purchase is complete, click View Keys slash Codes. Click Get the Key and copy it. Then go to your Windows search bar, type out Activate, and click Activation Settings. My Windows install is already activated, so I'll be replacing it, but yours should just say Activate Windows. Paste in the key, click Activate, and you're done. Thank you, CDK Deals, for continuing to support the channel. What is up, everyone? I am Brea Thorne. Welcome to System Integrators Weekly, where we are <sighs> nostalgic for Boston, but glad to be home. I gotta tell you, that was a really long, long trip. It was a lot of work and walking and running around when I've kind of been used to just sitting here working on videos all the time. So um, we're back. Everything's a huge mess because we had to make a mess to pack everything and then make a bigger mess unpacking everything. But everything's getting back into order slowly here. And there's been a ton of stuff going on in the PC industry. Uh, really, really exciting stuff. So um, there's been, you know, leaks on new things coming out, uh, making a lot more people question whether they should buy right now or wait, which is a valid question. You know, if you're if you're wondering that yourself, it means you don't absolutely need a PC right now and you can genuinely wait a few months if you're fine with that and get something when the new Intel 13th gen uh, chips come out or, you know, when the socket AM5 Zen 4 platform launches from AMD or when 40 series NVIDIA GPUs come out, although let's just be honest about that, scalpers will probably descend once again because the demand is gonna be high for those, while 30 series GPUs just kind of sit on the shelves because truthfully, you can pretty much buy most 30 series GPUs for just a little bit above MSRP these days, but availability is there. So if you're wanting to DIY, this video can be helpful for kind of figuring out what suits your needs or these videos these sunday system integrated weekly videos can be helpful for figuring out kind of where you lie what 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 you, what you might need um but i had a video it was our 52nd episode a one-year episode of system integrators weekly i will link it right here and that one tells you the questions to ask yourself before you buy a pre-built or before you build a custom pc what you might need what you you know figuring out your budget what works for you all of that kind of stuff also if you're wanting to do a diy build be sure to come by the stream. I stream every Sunday, Tuesday, and Thursday around 8 p.m. Central Standard Time over at twitch.tv slash Brayathorn. I can help you put together a PC part picker list going by your, your you know, what you're going to use it for and your budget and all that. Or if you live near a micro center, I can actually help you put together a micro center PC that they can build for you or you can build yourself. Uh, what we're going to do today, though, last Sunday, we showed some interviews from PAX East in Boston. And uh, those, the three interviews we showed last week were for three system integrators we have not yet featured on this show. That was RGB Custom PCs, Paradox Customs, and uh, Yi and Gaming. So, if you saw if you saw those interviews, this should be of great interest to you. If not, go back and watch that video too. Maybe I'll maybe I'll I'll put the thing right here so you can watch that one too. Now I know I said in last week's video that we would, I would be posting another video like tomorrow right after that, but. I haven't gotten to it yet. I am very, very sorry. Uh, I realized that I usually would rest after a trip. In this case, I kind of couldn't. I had a stream the very next day and, and we just started trying to crank out and crank out content. I did tons of editing for like that fancy intro stuff that you see. And I just sort of hit a wall. Um, and our our boy Cuddles, our, our best Canadian bud Cuddles, he, he works a full-time job. So um, I couldn't, I, I just, I just hit a wall when it came to editing. So I'm very sorry about that. We will get the next round of interview interviews up in the next video sometime this week. And, uh, some really, really cool ones in this one. You're not going to want to miss it. Um, 
yeah, not just system integrators in this one. It's going to be some brands, um, some organizations, and uh, just don't miss it. You're going to love it. Just stay tuned. Get subscribed. You'll hear more about the next events we're going to be attending and the kind of insane custom build I'm going to be doing for one of them coming up in a couple of months. Oh boy, you're not going to want to miss that one if you're into, into custom PC builds. It's going to be wild. Now, before we get to that, I should talk to you about a couple of important disclaimers. All right. First off, this video is being filmed for May 8th, 2022. Happy Mother's Day to all the moms out there and also to my mom. Happy Mother's Day, mom. If you see some pricing and availability that changes and you're watching this a few days later, that's how the market still kind of is. Pricing and availability changes fast. Uh, the next one is going to be that uh, you're going to hear opinions. I'm going to throw some opinions around. You might not agree with those opinions. That's what can happen sometimes, and that's fine. Um, just let me know what you disagree about in the comments below. Or you can come join the Discord. The link for that is in the description below. The Discord is awesome. You should definitely do that either way, even if you agree with me, kind of especially if you agree with me. Please join. And then, of course, you're buying at your own risk. Um, shipping PCs is, is difficult, and every company, doesn't matter how great they are, can have a problem with their product. It's what they do after there's a problem with the product. That's what tells you whether it's a good company or not. So keep that in mind. That can happen. You are buying at your own risk. That's how, what happens when you buy stuff. Essentially, the Swarm Discord is an army of 2,500 secret shoppers because they come back and tell us exactly how their experience was. If there's an issue, they report back as to how that was fixed and whether they were happy with it. So when I make recommendations or if I say, hey, this company has been doing well, they've been taking care of people. I'm not just guessing. I have direct feedback from over 2,000 people. That's a, that's a pretty big group for market research. I have not seen anything like it myself anywhere else. So um, that's where a lot of the, uh, that informs a lot of my recommendations. The thing is, these are new companies to us. So we're gonna be checking out their websites, seeing what, we, seeing what we like, what we don't like. It's all gonna be completely fair if there's something that can be, I feel can be improved because this is basically what I do for a living now is look at system integrator websites. If I have some uh, constructive criticism or questions or suggestions, that just comes from the fact that I've been looking at these professionally for over a year now and doing it casually for longer than that. So let's, uh, let's get into this. First thing I'm going to do before we get into those system integrators, I want to give you a couple updates on two that we know quite well around here. Uh, first off, Alexander PCs has some pricing updates on their website. So, of course, it takes a while for market price changes to trickle down to system integrators. A lot of them will have paid other prices or whatever for their stuff. And uh, as market prices shift, some system integrators will, will stick to prices that they've they had for the, that they paid for that stuff. Some will lower their prices in accordance. It just it varies. So Alexander PCs has made some price adjustments uh, based not only on market pricing but also on what cards they have because they give you specific pricing based on whether you're getting you know a basic a base card or if you're getting like an ROG Strix card. Now, of course, they also have some ready to ship systems, which is not always the case. So you should definitely check these out. There's a lot if you're even though I'm, I'm generally recommending Intel for those buying new PCs, if you're still interested in AMD, you can get a great performing PC going with a Zen 3 uh, AMD product, 5000 series Ryzen product. And uh, there are several systems here that fit the bill. Remember that Alexander PCs cuts zero corners, all of their, all every single component that goes into their PCs, none of them are baseline. All of these are higher end than what you would get in something that's like, say, a PC, just random PC off of Amazon or whatever, where they're trying to cut corners. And some of the pricing updates on some of their other ones uh, have affected systems that have been, you know, pre-configured that you buy it, and then they build it for you and ship it out. Like this, uh, say you get this Legionnaire 12th gen Intel system with a 12600K and a 3060 or 3060 Ti, then this one would be built and shipped at an estimated date of May 27th, 2022. So also they won't take your money if they don't have the parts for it. So this basically means that you are going to be buying your system. They're going to get it, build it, test it thoroughly, and then ship it out around that time. One of the most popular systems within the swarm has been the Centurion since day one, when I started covering Alexander PCs back in December, I believe. So this uh, is the 12th gen Intel version of Centurion, the white variant. And this one is on its way to me for a review. So. If you've been interested to see what I want have to say when I get my hands on a Centurion, 
get subscribed so you can see that one because that one's going to be cool. It's going to, I'm going to take my time with this. It's not coming out tomorrow or anything. I haven't even gotten the thing yet, but just give me a few weeks to test it thoroughly, really get into this one because I, I want to see what it can do. Next, let's, let's, uh, let's talk a little bit about Ironside. Now, Ironside is, um, Ironside's not a new company. They're a newer company that we've been talking about, but Ironside's been around for about 11 years. Met some of these guys at PAX. They're amazing. I didn't interview them there because they're only about three hours from me. So I'm gonna head up to their to their facility over near Austin um, later on in, uh, in a couple months or in a month. I'm not sure when I'll be able to do it, but I'm gonna head up there, take a look at their facility, interview some people there at, you know, kind of on their turf. They do some amazing custom stuff, but there's something really exciting. Just know that I'm gonna do probably a video with doing a deep dive into uh, Ironside prior to me heading up there just so you can kind of really, we can dig into the website quite a bit and do all that. But I wanted to point something out. Um, they make these cases for their um, for their limited edition series. And they're starting to carry, you, can, you know, these, you'll get them and then they're retired after a while, right? So you can't get them anymore. Um, a lot of these were just amazing. Well, uh, currently they only have the, the Yggdrasil and the Meltdown, but you can also just buy the cases now. So if you, want to do a DIY build, and you want one of these custom cases like the Meltdown in the uh, Leon 011 Air Mini, or you want the, the Yggdrasil because of that beautiful stained glass appearance on the glass side panel, go for it. You can build it yourself, just buy the case from them. And it's about the same price as any other premium case. Let's get to the, uh, the purpose of this video. We're gonna explore the three system integrators in the same order that we covered the, the interviews last week, last Sunday. Let's get this started with RGB custom PCs. I'm excited about these guys because they're actually located near Dallas, I believe. And uh, one of the events that I'm gonna be heading to in a, in a couple months is actually in Dallas. So I'm gonna visit them. Uh, shh, don't tell them. Uh, hi, how's it going? Holly, if you're watching this. But um, yeah, we're gonna go visit their site, which I hear has some really cool artwork like up on the walls and stuff. So it's gonna be made, made for some really cool footage. But anyway, we're gonna check out their PCs here. We're gonna check out their website, see what the experience is like. So we see free US 48, that's the continental US states. Free US 48 shipping, use code FREESHIP2022. So that doesn't get you a free ship. You're not gonna go sailing using this code. This means shipping's free. <laughs> anyway, here the site is super easy to navigate. Honestly, this is the first thing that I was struck with. Very easy to navigate this site. If you want an even simpler way to navigate through this, uh, of course, you have your menu up here. Uh, go to gaming PCs, because then you can go by either all of their builds, AMD builds, Intel, under 1,000, 1,000 to 1,500, 1,500 to 2,000. You basically look for your budget, and then you, you go from there. And of course, you can customize as well. We'll get to their customizer in a second. Let's see, so this right here, I mean, that's Ice Maiden in, uh, looks like an 011 Mini. They use a lot of Lee and Lee cases. You know I've got a deep love for Lee and Lee cases. I mean, hey, there's one right there. And uh, yeah, so you can just click on one of these and go from there. Let's, they even have special edition PCs. There's only a couple of these, but they are freaking, like if you go to UNT, you're, you might be interested in this one. So let's say you're anywhere from 1500 to 2000. Let's bring it down a bit. So these are three options that you've got right here. Makes it really easy to navigate. Uh, I do see quite a few Ryzen systems, but then if you go to the higher end, you will actually see some 12th gen Intel systems as well. Here's the signature with the 12900K. And of course, scale you can scale it up from the 3070 Ti to a higher end GPU, but there is the customization right here. Change your video card. Um, you go for 3070 Ti, 3080, 3080 Ti, and 3090. And you can change from a white a black case to a white case if you want. Corsair 4000D, great case, great airflow. Now, one thing I do wanna cover, because in the video, where I had the interviews with RGB Custom PC, because you look at this, you can tell this is not a, as big a company as iBuyPower. There isn't another company that's, I mean, iBuyPower is pretty much the largest system integrator in the country, if not globally as a single company. They sold over half a million PCs last year. When you look at something like this, you can you have to imagine, I mean, you know how it is. If you buy a lot of it, or if you sell a lot of a thing, you can sell it for a lower price. If you sell fewer things, you have to sell them at a higher price because you don't purchase parts for it as in, in as large quantities. And um, if you 
are selling lower volume, then you have higher prices. You know, quantity over quality, quality over quantity, that kind of thing. Now, that's not to say that you can't get a quality PC from a company that makes a lot of them. That depends on the company itself. But there is a trade-off here. I will get people in comments who, meaning well, will come in and say, well, you know, you talk about uh, iBuyPower, but I read some bad reviews on iBuyPower. And it's like, okay. Was it bought from a third-party retailer? Did you buy directly from, did they, did all those people, were those on Amazon because they bought them from Amazon? Were they on Best Buy's website because they bought them from Best Buy? Because I don't recommend that. But people will say like, oh, well that company, you don't get good customer service with them. They just sell a ton of PCs. All right, fine. Here's a smaller company that'll give you much more personal customer service. You know, you're gonna have a much tighter community around it. Then you go with a smaller system integrator and the prices are higher. And then they turn around and say, well, those prices are too high. What do you want? If what do you want from me? I gave you a solution to the other problem you said. It was like, oh, that's a huge company. I don't want to buy from them. Well, this company is much smaller. It can cost a little more. And well, that costs too much. Just keep that in mind. If you're looking at pricing saying, well, that seems kind of high. Well, this is a smaller company putting out fewer PCs with much more care. So if that means something to you, if that resonates with you, the price will also be fine. You'll usually be like, you know what? Yeah, I'll pay a little extra for that. I'm fine with that. So like this, Signature Gaming PC 3675 right here, uh, that is with a 3070 Ti. Uh, but it's only hundred bucks to go up to a 3080. Bam, there you go, hundred bucks. All right, so that's not a huge difference. That's actually what it should be between a 3070 Ti and a 3080, so you're good. And um, you know, if you're trying to get into 4K gaming, a 3080 can be a good idea. If you're not, if you're gonna be doing a ton of 1440p gaming, but you know what, you're gonna be doing some video editing too, this is a good system to look at. Now, I would look at this and say, well, it's still DDR4 and it's 3200 instead of 3600. I'd like to see that be sort of a higher frequency for the price range that we're looking at here. Um, maybe even 64 gigs of it because DDR4 is really cheap. My, my nitpicks aside, um, there have been times where I've pointed that out with certain companies and they've been like, you know what, you're right. They go around and change the price or change configurations. I'm not expecting every company to do that. I might say this is, you know, I don't like the RAM config in this. But it's very likely that you can just talk to them and make changes to the system, make changes to the spec, even if it's not in the configurator here, okay? Or let's actually just shop Intel builds in general. 12900K, 11900K, 11700K, 11500, and 12400. Here we go. This is here with a 12400 and a 1650. Now, if you bump it up to a, let's see, a 3050, that brings the price up to 1530. And that's a little bit high, a little bit high, and even go up to a 3060 Ti. So that would make it 1645. That's actually, I think, a better option. Instead of a 3050, go to 3060 Ti, because this, with a 12400, can game at 1440p. I think this is a good system for the price. Uh, 1645, there you go. We're going to, of course, explore RGB custom PC a little bit more down the line. Uh, I just wanted to show you a couple systems from there. I was really just browsing the site, showing you what the experience is like. I do want to point out one thing that I really like here, that this is a woman owned company and that is not as, it's, it's just not common in tech. I love to see it. Um, I, and, and I honestly, there's certain things like that that I should point out more often. Like Alexander PCs is a veteran owned company and uh, you can actually get a bigger discount than the Brayathorn code if you let them know that you're a veteran law enforcement active duty military or firefighter. Just email them. They give you a $100 discount instead of the 50 that you get with the Braithron code. There's certain things like that that I need to be pointing out more often. This is gonna be a little different because as far as I can see, Paradox Customs is different. That's not bad. That is not a bad thing, um, but their website doesn't really have anything on it. I mean, it's got some great B-roll and y'all know me. I have a deep appreciation for some good B-roll and they do a good job of it. Look at this sleeper in this old Antec case. That's sick. And looking here, it says that their PCs are powerful. Um, overclock, stress tested and benchmarked, which is solid. I mean, that's 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 something they're doing. That's cool. Uh, it says that additionally, their PCs are elegant, something Henry Henderson would definitely appreciate. Uh, quality is our focus from cable management to part selection. And I mean, Vinny said it. Cable management, take it very seriously. 
there was, was there was like one comment who was like that guy was talking about how they're they sponsor they, they're big in call of duty of course any company should talk about like the partnerships they have affiliations that they have uh especially with esports teams things like that and with uh very specific titles that hundreds of thousands or millions of people play so that's not really something to criticize that's just sort of a professional thing to do like hey we are big into this uh, we work with these teams we work with these notable people musicians actors whatever that like, that's cool i would brag about that they built custom pcs for the majority of the call of duty and warzone scene uh fan favorites such as um uh, crimzix formal clayster envoy um our cities and then that's it. it 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 sort of says build with us uh reach out to email so that means you go directly to uh to you can email sales or you can just do the email form now Paradox. One thing I would suggest here is put more fields in the form. Most people will uh, that, that are new to PCs, and I'm telling you this as someone who's been helping people both through my videos and live on Twitch for uh, over a year now. I've been an IT guy for like, I was an IT guy for like 10 years. I've been building PCs over 20 years. So I kind of know what questions to ask, and those would be very helpful here. Let's take a look back here. We're going to go back to, here we go. Look at this. Look at this questionnaire. This is what RGB Custom PCs does. If you don't want one of the systems that they have pre-configured there, that's fine. You just let them know, hey, uh, request a custom build quote. Use this form. Uh, are you ready to purchase today? Yes or no? OK. Uh, just your info, of course, so they can get in contact with you. What games do you want to play? That's important. If you're going to play Escape from Tarkov, you need a lot of RAM, right? If you're going to play AAA titles, you know, you might need a higher end GPU. If you're going to play esports titles, you don't need as high end of a GPU. Uh, are you more concerned with performance or appearance? I say both, but you might say differently. Will you use it to stream more RAM, more USB ports on the motherboard because you need a lot of connectivity? Any other notes or comments you want us to know? And then they give examples. AMD or Intel, need Wi-Fi, case size, pictures are helpful. <laughs> Upload pictures of PC builds or designs you like. This is how you do a submission form. So I would say that this is something that y'all should definitely add. You already have the uh, sort of the build out, the infrastructure here, or the code, to have a submission form here. Just add more fields. I think you'd get a lot more informative requests. You'd have less back and forth, and it would actually get people, get potential customers to start thinking before they even talk to you about those different things. Let's take a look at their Instagram real quick. At Paradox, they do a lot of things like, you know, painting GPUs, doing GPU backplates, doing different sort of aesthetic touches that are not necessary for performance. But if you really care a lot about aesthetic stuff, this is gonna be a big thing for them. And it makes a good recommendation for those who do prioritize aesthetics, which is, again, fine. If that's something, it's, it's, if it's in a big investment. You need to like the way it looks because you're gonna have it on your desk. You're not putting it on the floor. And all of these, all of these are nice. I mean, look at this one. Look at this. You got, uh, this is the O11 uh, Mini. It might be the Snow White Edition, it might be the black one, kind of hard to tell in that lighting, but um, it has the screen mod on the front where you can just kind of, it's a whole, like a monitor. You can put whatever you want on there animated wallpapers, things like that. Bam, there you go. So these are some mods that, you know, you'll see here and there and be like, that's so cool, I want that. There you go, you know who to talk to. All right, so check out their Instagram, that's BR Paradox. Check out their website, that is brparadox.com. Yeah, um, maybe chat with them. You send them an email if you're interested. I'm sure they got Twitter as well. And all the links uh, seem to be right here. Instagram, Twitter, YouTube, everything. I'm gonna have to check out their YouTube later on. Okay, now let's take a look at Yian. That was the longest interview in last week's video because Hernan, man, he talks like as much as I do. It was awesome. Yian does everything. They don't just do PCs. They have their own cases, uh, monitors, power supplies, memory, fans, headsets, just peripherals, uh, even gaming chairs. So they basically, you could just totally Yian out your whole setup. Now, I did, uh, you know, he did tell me himself, because looking at some of these cases, you see a lot of solid front panels, and he was like, that's going away. That is going away. And the Samurai PC that he had there, because the Samurai is their whole logo, uh, he may be at some point sending that to me so I can actually do a review on that. And it was an actual one from PAX. So, because that's the direction they're going. They are making their own, they're making more cases, and these, these new ones, I, I sort of, 
pried this information out of him, but it is going to be, you know, mesh front panels, high airflow cases, and he's going to be sending me one. So I'm looking forward to that. Of course, we are more concerned here with gaming PCs. Of course, Hernan, if you want to send out uh, peripherals, I don't really get peripherals sent to me um, for, for, for review. I would do it, but I'm not going to recommend peripherals until I've gotten my hands on them. That's like the whole point of peripherals is, is the, the, the tactile experience and, and, and you know, how it works for you. Um, but yeah, so the gaming PCs though, we can kind of take a look at one and tell you whether it's going to have good airflow, whether the component mix is going to be good, the components selection is going to be good. Uh, like right here. So this is an 1149 system, uh, the Ian Sh uh, Shoge X11. This is an 11400F and a 1660 Super. So it looks like it has a single, yeah, single stick of RAM. I would prefer dual channel, even if it was four gig sticks, that'd be fine with me. Dual channel is gonna be a lot faster for gaming. Um, but yeah, I mean, this is a very, this is a very basic system just for sort of getting started. Uh, but looking at the case, this actually does have uh, some mesh on the front panel right here, this strip right here, but that's still, it, you know, it's it's for 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 an overall heat production that you're going to get out of these parts, the overall TDP of this configuration, it's not going to put out that much heat. 1660 Super and an 11400 F, that's not going to put out a lot of heat. So this actually should be thermally fine. A few notes about Yin in general that Hernan told me that really stuck with me. Each PC, there's not an assembly line. Each PC is built start to finish by one tech. They sign off. They put the sheet in there. So when you open it up, you actually get to see the signature and the date when it was built from the tech who built it that is also scanned and kept in their database. So if you call in for tech support, they will actually address the tech who built it and talk to them. And you can actually, you know, you like, I believe you get to work with them on troubleshooting and stuff like that. I, it sounds way better than what you would normally get from a company that actually puts out quite a few PCs because they're not only here, they're in Latin America, they're in Spain, soon to be expanding to Asia. And wherever they have, uh, wherever, wherever they sell PCs, they'll actually get assembled in that country. So that's super cool because like you don't have overseas shipping then. Very, very cool. Yeah, microphones, streaming gear. Look at this, this microphone, it's like crazy. It's got all these knobs around the front for your, I guess, EQ potentially. Uh, streaming lights. Let me see what lights they have. Do they have full on key lights or just a ring lights? They got a ring light here. So basically you can do a one-stop shop for like a whole setup. That's pretty cool. Okay. There we go, 3070, 12700 KF, 16 gigs DDR4 for 2349. Um, not very high airflow on these cases, just that sort of side vent right there. Looks like you could pop off the front panel though and you'd probably be fine um, because the 12700 K or KF, that thing could put out some heat. Uh, but this one is 12700 KF, 32 gigs DDR5 and a 3070 Ti for 2999. The Yi and Yari X21. This has a 12900 KF, 32 gigs DDR5, and a 3080 for 34.99. And uh, this one is a 12600 K with a 3060 and 16 gigs DDR4 for uh, it looks like 15.99 uh, discounted at checkout. And the one that's 34.99 is 300 dollars off, 300 dollars off. So it's 31.99 at checkout. Um, that for 12900 KF basically it makes it 200 dollars more. Then the 12700 KF and 3070 Ti to get a 12900 KF and a 3070 Ti. That's a, that's pretty sweet, actually. It's a good price. So I don't know. I feel like we've gotten a pretty good look at what Yin has to offer and we can do more of a deep dive. Here's the thing that I want to do, guys. One thing I'm really wanting to do is, uh, and I've been trying to do this now and then. It's just it, the time escapes me and I run out of time to do this, but I want to have more videos where it's an entire video dedicated to a single system integrator because this gets really difficult. Think of this one as a lot of sort of first looks at these websites, companies with a lot of me just, just taking that first impression because a lot of them I hadn't really, the Yi and I hadn't looked into enough on their site to realize, to even realize, I just said where to buy. Okay, cool, where to buy. Bam, oh, it's all those retailers and the Yi and link doesn't work. So maybe they're just building that. Those are my first impressions and I was, I didn't give it enough of a look. So I'm wanting to do more deep dives on each of these. And the next one that's gonna be coming up is gonna be an Ironside one. Um, and of course, we're gonna have more PC reviews and I've already been talking to Hernan about doing an actual review on one of the systems. But right now I have other system reviews that I need to finish first. So that will be coming as uh, soon as I can get that done. And we have another system coming in from 
Alexander PCs. Maybe a little surprise from Intel too. Uh, if you liked the video, please hit like. I don't actually ask for that very often. If you watched all this way to the end, you probably liked it, I guess. And thank you for watching all the way to the end. I talk a lot. Uh, it's a problem, but uh, thank you for bearing with me. And this is, it's always interesting to add new companies to the fold. Which of these might be ones that, that, that are added to Operation Code Breathorn? I Well, who knows? We'll find out. Um, and also when there's new stuff coming up, like maybe an announcement of a really interesting thing that's happening this month with my stream on the 27th. Bonus stream, two year anniversary, and an unveiling of some pretty rad stuff, uh, some big changes to the stream. So be sure to follow me on Twitch, check out the, ch check out the, ch the streams. I'm gonna be streaming tonight. Sometimes I start late on Sundays because getting these videos out is tough. Come hang out. And uh, if you need help with the build, come in, type exclamation point, join in the chat, join the queue, and I'll help you find the gaming PC of your dreams. Twitch.tv slash Brayathorn, Sunday, Tuesday, and Thursday around 8 p.m. Central Standard Time. All right, guys, that's going to be it for this time. Uh, keep an eye out. More interviews coming out, more PAX content coming out this week. And um, it, there's so much content that needs to come out. Oh my God, we have a lot of work. We have a lot of work ahead. So buckle up, Cuddles. We got a lot of stuff going on. You guys, thanks for coming by. And until next time, take care.